Hi guys, welcome to the Cow Whisperers Creative Cards. I'm Michelle Wright and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, today, as you can see, I've got something a little different planned. Keeping with my Christmas in July, I thought we would take our stamps and create something that's not a card. So if you've got a stamp set that you absolutely love and you thought, oh, I want to splurge on that, but I don't know what else I would do with it, here you go. Perfect, inexpensive Christmas gift. Let's get started. I'm using the Heartland set. You know I love it. I'm going to be using the barn, and I'm going to be using the tractor. Okay? These are ceramic tiles, travertine tiles. You can get them at the big box stores. They sell them individually. You can get a box of them. I think they're like $8 for, gosh, I don't even know how many. Dirt cheap. Okay? So you probably see where I'm going with this. All I did was I grab them. Take a wet paper towel, wipe them off, let them dry. <clears throat> I'm going to bring one in here. I've got my old barn scene. Stays on ink. Very important. You want stays on ink. This is jet black. And I'm going to make sure that I ink this up really well. Okay. Thought about putting this diagonally, but you know my OCD just wouldn't have it. So we're going to go right here in the middle. Press down, hold it for a minute. And I'm sure you can imagine what we're creating. We're creating coasters. I have made these in the past and everyone loves them. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely awesome? inexpensive I mean you can just knock these out get that set that you love I mean the money you'll save on gifts that you know they're not going to do anything with put it in that stamp set then you've got that stamp set for the future to make your cards with or make more coasters next year I'm giving it time to absorb in. The wonderful thing about this stays on is it's going to sink into these tiles. You do not have to seal it. They are good just like they are. Oh, I love this so much. <clears throat> I did it for myself. I'd probably do a whole set of those. And then once you get them all created, tractor scene pressing it down you can do four different ones you could do all four the same I'm doing two and two oh it's so stinking cute gonna have a whole gift here that's cost you about five dollars that you actually created everyone has enough gifts they have to buy that you know, you want to just give a little something. This would be a great gift for a neighbor, mailman, the lovely guy in brown who delivers your wonderful Stampin' Up! supplies to you. I mean, you see what I'm saying? Because $5, you're not going to do much with $5 anymore. All right. So I've got those done quickly. Buy these at the dollar store. They're just the little felts. Flip them over, peel them up, and we're just putting those on so it doesn't scratch the surface of their table. Okay? Super fast. Once we get these all on here, we're going to actually use my favorite ribbon. You guys know which one is my favorite ribbon because I told you we couldn't be friends if you didn't like it. So I'm assuming if you're watching this, that means you're my friend and you like it. Okay, then I would alternate them because that's just the way I roll. And I, when I say $5 to make the set, I'm talking about everything. The tiles, these, little piece of ribbon. Okay, now I've got that all done. Travertine will absorb too, so any if your glass sweats, it's going to absorb. Okay, the infamous 
Cherry Cobbler Stitch Ribbon, my favorite. This is the way you want to do this. Start with it up here. Go flush, flip it over, come across the back. I can already tell I don't have it even. There we go. Crisscross it in the back. Come around. Okay, of course I'm going to play with that bow just a little bit because I want that stitched part to show. But you get the gist of what I'm talking about. Okay, now that we've got this made, and when I'm not trying to hurry, I will go back and fix that. Now we're going to make an adorable tag. Let me show you how to do that. Now we're going to make our tag. So remember I've told you to save all of that gorgeous... DSP, the Christmas DSP, be merry. Okay, I've got a two and three quarter by one and three quarter inch piece of it. I'm trying to decide which side, but I think I'm gonna go with the mittens. Oh, they're so cute. And then this is garden green and it's three and a half by two, okay? And I've got my scallop tag topper. Just gonna slide that in there. Flip it over so I can see what I'm look got it going on down here. Mm, how simple is that? All right, now I want this to stay on here, so I'm gonna grab my fast fuse. Okay, and then let's stick this on here. Giving myself just a tiny little border. You could actually take your dauber and ink it all the edges up with cherry cobbler. That would have been cute too. All right, now I'm going to grab my, from my Merry Mistletoe, I'm going to use Christmas Wishes. And I've already got my stays on out, so I'm just going to use it. Just going to kind of angle this at a side. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And you can write to and from on the back. You can take care of that. Let me cover this up real quick. Get that wiped off. Okay, now bring our coasters back over. I know you guys see where I'm going with this. Is this not stinking adorable? So I just put a little knot in this. Keep it tight. And then tie your bow. Okay, if you don't like that, then something's not right. Isn't that adorable? I hope you love it. Remember, I just used travertine tiles. This is my scallop tag topper. Heartland stamps it. Oh, love it, love it. Merry mistletoe. Cheap Christmas gift. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. If you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I sure would love to be your gal. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.